If the Supreme Court finds against the government, either at the end of this next week or next week, what would you do and what would your message be to the judges? Well, obviously I have the greatest respect for the judiciary and the independence of the judiciary is one of the glories of the, of the UK and of our constitution, one of the things for which we're admired around the world. And I think the best thing I can say, having said that, is to wait and see what they say. But would you and be ready to recall Parliament if that's what the Supreme Court says I think you ought to do? the best thing I can do is wait and see what the, the judges say. Supreme Court Parliament suspended to stop MPs frustrating PM, judges told. Boris Johnson sought to suspend Parliament to avoid the risk of MPs frustrating or damaging his Brexit plans, the Supreme Court has heard. Lawyers for campaigners challenging the suspension said there was strong evidence the PM saw MPs as an obstacle and wanted to silence them. The judges are hearing two challenges relating to the five-week prorogation. Lady Hale, president of the court, stressed the landmark case would have no bearing on the timing of Brexit. In her opening statement, the most senior judge in the UK said she and her ten colleagues would endeavour to address the serious and difficult questions of law raised by the case. But she said the court would not determine wider political questions relating to the Brexit process and its ruling would have no bearing on when and how the UK leaves the EU. Over the next three days, the Supreme Court will consider two separate legal challenges over whether Boris Johnson acted lawfully in advising the Queen to prorogue Parliament. Mr Johnson maintains it was right and proper to terminate the last session of Parliament in order to pave the way for a Queen's speech on 14 October, in which his new government will outline its legislative plans for the year ahead. He insisted the move had nothing to do with Brexit and his do-or-die pledge to take the UK out of the EU on 31 October, if necessary without a deal. But last week, Edinburgh's Court of Session found in favour of a cross-party group of politicians challenging the PM's move, ruling the shutdown was unlawful and of no effect. Scotland's highest civil court found Mr Johnson's actions were motivated by the improper purpose of stymieing Parliament. From properly scrutinising the government's Brexit plans in the run-up to a crucial summit of EU leaders on 17 October, it found that the Prime Minister had effectively misled the Queen in the sovereign's exercise of prerogative powers.